And in this video, we are going to learn the metrics reported by the Kubernetes. So it is, or it will be the part of same troubleshooting because this will help us to find out which pod, which node is uh, maximum utilized, how much uh, resources they're using, and if we need to take any proactive uh, step or how much limit and request we should assign on the pod uh, could help us by knowing the metrics. So I, I still have the same uh, AKS cluster that I've been working on. So let me quickly share my screen and take you through with the few commands that will help us to understand. A few of them you have pretty much seen. Uh, there would be one or two new commands. Uh, but the main thing is how we are utilizing them and what we need to see. So let me quickly share my screen and let's get started. <laughs> so metrics. Kubernetes reports multiple metrics. And we're going to use a number of kubectl command to get these metrics. And before that, let me show you get nodes, how many nodes we have. Uh, we still have the same cluster, so two nodes will be running. Um, I usually stop this by azaks stop command, which will help me to optimize my cost when I'm not using it. Okay, so the node in your Kubernetes are the servers running your application. In case of our lab, these two nodes uh, are running the pods on pods or applications are running. Okay, so Kubernetes schedule pods to different nodes in the cluster as per the various ways the scheduler will find out which one uh, needs to be utilized for spinning of the pod. And you need to monitor the status of your nodes to ensure that nodes themselves are healthy and the nodes have enough resources to run new applications. Well, the very simple first command, uh, we have seen it here, we can also utilize it with output wide, which will help us to get the IP addresses, right? The, this is running on the Azure CNI. So these are my uh, subnets IP addresses, subnets, AKS subnet. We get the uh, image kernel version. This information we can easily get with OWIDE. And we need to, if, we need to find out uh, which nodes are consuming the most resources. We can simply run kubectl top because here we do not have that particular column which would talk about the CPU or memory usage, but this will help us to find out the IP address, versioning, age, those kind of, st those kind of stuff, including the status. Now, if I do kubectl top nodes, top will help us to find out the CPU. And uh, I need to get my annotate, anno, anno, annotate. <laughs> okay, so CPU, cores, CPU percentage, and memory. You can see in, in my scenario, it's the uh, AKS first server this one is uh, more utilizing the memory but this one is utilizing the cpu more as compared to the other node okay very good let me remove this now the top command will help us to find out the cpu and memory usage of the nodes and this is the actual consumption at the point at this point in time when I ran the command, not the number of request uh, requests a certain node has. To get the request, you can you can execute this one that we ran in the previous video as well, which is kubectl 
describe what are we going to describe node which one let's pick this one so that we would have a little more information more than cpu and memory and i did the same thing that i usually do cube ctl i think it is right but why it's describe node it's it is fine cube cdl cube ctl do it oh capital k my bad cube cdl all right see i have little not little i have too much information here now let me get my annotate annotate and start showing you here we can have request and limits you can see okay and if we go little up oh i need to get out of this annotate uh, come on yeah come on, come on. and remove this as well uh annotate eraser all right cool now when we rain this command describe it gives us too much information and we need to figure out which one uh, is actually everything is beneficial but in our case what is beneficial that's the that's the question right if you are going to figure out the matrices that's what we are seeing right now uh, so other information is not useful right now, but that would be useful in some other scenarios and cases when we will be looking for that. For example, uh, at what uh, node the pod is running or whether the armor is enabled or not, those kind of stuff. Anyways, let's get back to our, uh, see here we have all the namespace information and all the cpu request limits memory memory request and memory limits information yeah and here we have the allocated resource total limit maybe over 100 percent that is over committed so here we have the total limit and here is what these are utilizing okay these are the pods running in this namespace and utilizing that much and these are the memory and the request assigned to those pods all right so that's how we can do it so we learned top command which gives the cpu and memory then we describe the node and we find out there is too much information there so describe node command outputs the request and limits per pod across namespaces that we have seen already this is a good way for for cluster operators to verify how much load is being put on the cluster across all namespaces now similarly we can we can check the pod consumption as well just like the node and pods consume cpu and memory resources from an aks cluster because that's where they're running on the nodes. So request and limits are used to configure how much CPU and memory a pod can consume. Requests are used to reserve a minimum amount of CPU and memory, while limits are used to set the maximum amount of CPU and memory per pod so that we can distribute whatever resources are available into the pod. Okay, like all the ports that we are going to utilize. Now we can simply run kubectl get ports and assign the names uh, namespace cube system, uh, and we can see the cube system uh, ports right now. These all are the Kubernetes ports, and here all these ports are running. It's very simple command that we've been running. This will give us the information about the status of the pods, age and all. And now if we describe, let's pick the core DNS. Let's pick this pod and do kubectl describe pod and paste the pod here 
and enter, you'll see I did some mistake. Error from server pods. Uh, okay, I have to put the namespace as well. Uh, it's good when you encounter any error or issue, this will help you to learn more or better for sure. Now, you can see uh, this is the all information that we got after running the describe command for this particular pod. And I'm going to here. From here, it started giving all the information that it has. Now we are interested in uh, limit and request right here. You can see this is the, the this this much it asked to the AKS, and this is the limit for this part that's been assigned by the system. Okay, and you can take you can take care of this uh, limit range for your ports that you're running on your AKS. It's not something by default, you can you can simply write the limit range YAML file and associate through labels on your ports. Okay. Now, similarly, we, we can also run kubectl top command here, top for the pods. Uh, let's try to check in all name spaces. Okay. Okay, what did I do? Okay you can see the CPU and memory information are coming when we run the TOP or top command, just like on the node. It's this, it's the base, it's the, if you're coming from the Linux background, you know, you, the top command already. Uh, anyways, I'm not. So that's the reason I go and explore each and every command. Uh, I come from the Windows background. So uh, this is, this is all for this particular uh, video and these metrics can help us in troubleshooting and find out what is happening and how to how to best utilize the resources well that's all in this video and thank you for watching i hope you learned something new today and let's meet in another video take care bye bye